Hello everybody and thank you for tuning in to our Piano and More recital. We are delighted to have been asked to play for this series and thank you to Anna Le Hare uh, and the team at St Peter and St Paul's in Tring for making this video stream possible. Uh, as you can see, um, we are part of the More of that uh, recital series title. Uh, we are two thirds of Ensemble La Nota. My name is Mark Wilson, a bassoonist and recent graduate of Royal Birmingham Conservatoire, uh, and I'm joined by my partner, uh, recorder player and fellow graduate, Kate Alsop. If circumstances have been different, we would have brought today's concert to you accompanied by our third founding member, William Peart, uh, who is currently completing a postgraduate degree in Berlin and is unfortunately unable to make it back. Uh, but since we are a treble and bass instrument duo, we are looking forward to showing you uh, the variety that our combination of instruments has to offer. Uh, today, we'd like to take you through some selected <coughs> highlights for recorder and bassoon, both as a pairing and at times individually. So our first piece is by Baroque composer Francesco Mancini and is part of a collection of 12 recorder sonatas published in 1724. Here Mark is accompanying me on the Baroque bassoon. Uh, in normal circumstances, as, as he said, we would have a harpsichord as well, um, but unfortunately that isn't possible at the moment. This sonata follows a fast, slow, fast, slow, fast format. And although he's playing the accompanying continuo part, Mark has almost as many notes to play as I do. Mancini was known predominantly as an opera composer um, during his lifetime. And the slow movement, we think you can really imagine these um, melodies being performed by a singer rather than the recorder. Thank you. 
composer Jacob van Eyck and it's a piece for solo recorder. Um, van Eyck was a Dutch musician from the early 17th century and was one of the most prolific um, composers of music for the recorder as well as a virtuoso recorder player himself. He used to perform outside in Utrecht um, and would improvise ever more complicated variations and versions of well-known tunes from the time. The English Nightingale, however, is one of his um, original pieces um, and one of his most well-known compositions. It's supposed to um, resemble the sound of the bird song. So, unaccompanied solo repertoire for Baroque bassoon. It sounds niche, and in fact it is. Um, there, unsurprisingly, aren't many options. Uh, in fact, there are only a couple that I could uh, find, and they take the form of very late Baroque publications on how to just improve your bassoon playing. So they were just simply technical studies. And I thought, for this concert, I wanted something a little more refined than just a study. Uh, so then I realised that Telemann's 12 flute fantasias work fantastically uh, on the bassoon. Uh, you take the piece, you add three flats to the key signature, and a piece that was in E minor becomes G minor and fits rather nicely uh, for the bassoon. So seeing as there aren't actually any flute players around, I'm going to call this Telemann's eighth bassoon fantasia in G minor. Thank you. 
music that we could have drawn on at this point but we thought we'd go typically French of the period and play you 
uh, selective movements from a French Baroque suite. Uh, this piece by Dornell has lots of little movements and each movement uh, is labelled after that of a, of a different dance that they, the, of the time. Um, although not necessarily, they would have maybe not have been danced to, um, the music that you hear completely matches the titles. Uh, so we have an unrelated prelude, beautiful, that runs into a gay movement, an alamand, uh, a rondo, a saraband, and a gigue. Thank you. 
solo recorder. Um, we've now moved forward um, into the 20th century. This is the first movement of Steps is Virtuoso Suite, the Allegro de Saiso. And Steps was a student of Paul Hindemith, um, and his compositional style is really similar to this. 
So even though this is a solo work, um, it's still quite harmonically interesting. Lots of um, sharps and flats and different accidentals. I'm playing this on a, a modern alto recorder, uh, which has a louder sound than, than the Baroque recorders I was playing previously, um, and also keys at the end, which is quite unusual, and that extends the um, range of the instrument. So as you can see, um, I have also switched to the modern day version of the bassoon, uh, as can quite clearly be seen by the sheer number of keys that have been added over the years. The bassoon gradually developed from an instrument that had two keys on it to one that has nothing but. So um, uh, along with that uh, comes a much larger variety for uh, the solo bassoon. Um, it's a much more versatile instrument and no longer just an accompanying instrument, but a solo instrument in its own right. Um, composed in 1972, uh, Eustein Felt's Divertimento for bassoon solo is one of my personal favourites. Um, of which I'm going to play the first and the last movement. It's full of character, completely contrasting ideas, um, and all round just a really good laugh. So please enjoy. Thank <laughs> you. 
to watch our concert today. It's been an absolute privilege to bring you this concert all the way from Gloucestershire, where we are currently residing. Um, ordinarily, we would have loved to have come and performed live, and hopefully maybe we can one day. But thank you very much for listening. And we are going to finish with uh, a piece that's new to both of us, um, a duo by uh, a composer called Gabay. Uh, originally for flute and bassoon, uh, we discovered that it works fantastically well on the modern alto recorder uh, alongside the modern bassoon. Uh, the uh, other versions of the modern recorder tends to not necessarily have the power to uh, play alongside an instrument that's three or four times the size, but uh, this pairing works really, really well. Uh, we're going to play the first movement uh, from Gabay's sonatine. Um, Again, a movement with a couple of different characters. Uh, it has short, fast, rhythmic sections and a section that is completely legato, smooth and quiet to contrast it. So finally, movement one from Gabay's duo for flute or recorder and bassoon. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. 